St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Welcome and thank you for celebrating the next half hour with us to enrich our faith. And the televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from an anonymous donor from our parish of St. Gregory's in Etobicoke, Ontario. This Mass is offered in thanksgiving for blessings received and for an answer, an answer to prayer, for the well-being and good health of the members of their family, for the intentions of those watching the televised Mass, and for a special intention. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Coming together as God's family, with confidence let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of mercy and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of power and mercy, protect us from all harm. Give us freedom of spirit and health in mind and body to do your work on earth. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Israelites were encamped at the edge of the sea. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and his army pursued them so as to enslave them once again. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land, and the waters were divided. The Israelites went into the sea on dry ground, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went into the sea after them, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and chariot drivers. At the morning watch, the Lord in the pillar of fire and cloud looked down upon the Egyptian army and threw the Egyptian army into panic. He clogged their chariot wheels so that they turned with difficulty. The Egyptians said, let us free from the Israelites for the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, so that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and chariot drivers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea returned to its normal depth. As the Egyptians fled before it, the Lord tossed the Egyptians into the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the chariot drivers. The entire army of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea, not one of them remained. But the Israelites walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Israel saw the great work that the Lord did against the Egyptians. So the people feared the Lord and believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang their song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. Then the prophet Miriam, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women went out after her with tambourines and with dancing. And Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. The word of the Lord.
Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. In the greatness of your majesty, of your nostrils the waters piled up O Lord the flood stood up in a heap the deeps congealed in the heart of the sea let us see Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. You blew with your wind, the sea covered them. They sank like lead in the mighty waters. You stretched out your Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. The Lord be with you. Yes. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory While Jesus was still speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers were standing outside wanting to speak to him. But to the one who had told him this, Jesus replied, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? And pointing to his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. 